tech world was rocked when China abruptly canceled a colossal $255 billion chip order, sending shockwaves across Europe and the United States. Overnight, lithography shutters slammed shut as the rug was pulled out from under the semiconductor industry that powers our interconnected world. Like a flickering light bulb suddenly left in the dark, the canceled order threatens to plunge the Western tech sector into an uncertain future. The chips at the heart of the turmoil are the hidden workforces within our devices that we often take for granted. But now, the very innovation and progress we depend on hangs in the balance as an industry scrambles to chart its next step forward. It all started when Western nations found themselves in a tough spot. They'd been relying heavily on a massive $255 billion chip order from China, which was a cornerstone of the tech industry. Chips are like the hidden heroes of our modern world, powering everything from our smartphones to self-driving cars, and even the brains behind cloud computing and artificial intelligence. The United States, as a global leader in chip design and development, held a significant role in the intricate dance. Meanwhile, China, with its colossal consumer market and manufacturing prowess, played its part as the hub for chip production. This collaboration and competition between the two giants defined the current and future landscape of the global chip industry. But things started to shift. Recent years saw fractures in the global chip supply chain. U.S.-China trade tensions, technological barriers, and the COVID-19 pandemic added unexpected twists to the plot. Faced with mounting pressure from the United States, China embarked on a journey to become more self-reliant in chip research and innovation. They didn't want to be overly dependent on external suppliers anymore. Recent reports have revealed that China pulled the plug on chip orders worth a staggering $255 billion. The consequence? The shutdown of photolithography machines in Europe and the United States. Now the world is buzzing with questions. Why did China cancel these orders? And why did photolithography machines grind to a halt? What challenges lie ahead for U.S. chip companies? The primary reason behind China's order cancellations is its remarkable progress in becoming self-sufficient in the semiconductor realm. They've been impressively reducing their reliance on external suppliers. For example, Huawei managed to navigate around U.S. chip supply restrictions by introducing the domestically developed Kirin 9000 series processors. This move showcased China's prowess in chip design. Additionally, China has been making significant strides in various areas, such as photolithography machines, packaging and testing, and materials and equipment. They've been breaking Western monopolies in these fields, further solidifying their position in the global chip game. In the first half of this year, China significantly reduced its chip imports, a staggering 54.6 billion units less than the same period last year. This reduction amounts to a staggering 255 billion renminbi, particularly affecting high-end product imports. The heart of chip production relies heavily on photolithography machines, and in this domain, only three global manufacturers stand out. ASML, in particular, holds a dominant position, commanding over 90% of the extreme ultraviolet photolithography machine market. These machines are a crucial component in producing the most advanced chips. However, due to technological restrictions imposed by the U.S. on China, ASML has been unable to export its cutting-edge EUV photolithography machines to China. This restriction effectively prevented China from manufacturing chips below the 7 nanometer threshold. China made a significant breakthrough in indigenous photolithography machine development. This development has not only affected China, but also had ripple effects in Europe and the US, where machine manufacturers, including ASML, are grappling with reduced orders and overcapacity issues, largely driven by China's order cancellations. The US chip companies are also not immune to these challenges. Firstly, China is one of the world's largest chip consumer markets, and a substantial portion of sales for U.S. chip firms takes place in China. China's increased focus on indigenous research and innovation, coupled with reduced reliance on external suppliers, exerts competitive pressure on U.S. chip companies operating within the Chinese market. Secondly, U.S. chip firms often lack in global manufacturing frequently depending on Asian foundries to bring their chip designs to life. 
this dependence has made them vulnerable to disruptions in the supply chain. Lastly, talent cultivation and attraction pose significant difficulties and challenges for U.S. chip companies, leading to talent outflows and supply shortages. Behind the U.S. government's restrictions on China's chip development lies the concern that China's technological advancement threatens U.S. leadership in global tech. Despite these substantial challenges, China remains determined and resolute in its pursuit of indigenous research and core technology mastery. Their efforts continue to shape the global landscape of the semiconductor industry. Speaking of chip manufacturing, China is steadily ramping up its chip production capabilities to bolster self-sufficiency, leaving an indelible mark on the global chip stage. Simultaneously, China's photolithography technology has achieved groundbreaking breakthroughs, propelling its chip manufacturing capabilities to new heights. China's immersion lithography machines have taken center stage by entering production lines, employing 7 nanometer technology for mass production. This remarkable feat marks substantial progress in China's semiconductor manufacturing technology. The utilization of these emerging lithography machines has significantly bolstered chip manufacturing capabilities, laying a sturdy foundation for China's chip industry development. In the pursuit of greater chip self-reliance, China continues its expansion of 7 nanometer manufacturing capacity. Yet, this expansion doesn't come without consequence. China's gradual reduction in chip procurement projected to decrease by a whopping 60 billion units this year will cast a significant shadow over the global chip market, underscoring the repercussions of China's chip manufacturing capacity expansion. China's chip capacity expansion poses a series of challenges for photolithography machine manufacturer ASML. While ASML's most advanced machines are the extreme ultraviolet lithography units, deep ultraviolet machines still dominate sales. To meet the burgeoning demand of these chip manufacturers, ASML has ambitious plans to increase deep ultraviolet machine capacity to 600 units and extreme ultraviolet machine capacity to 90 units in the coming years. This strategic move highlights the evolving landscape in the semiconductor industry as China solidifies its role as a key player. Nonetheless, China's bold expansion in chip capacity has accelerated the growth of its photolithography machine technology, presenting ASML with a complex dilemma. ASML finds itself at a crossroads, grappling with whether to continue selling machines to China and how to compete with the rapidly advancing Chinese photolithography machine technology. Fooled by the paramount importance of the semiconductor sector and the vast market potential in China, ASML has had to make concessions in the Chinese market. They've chosen to cease their refusal to sell photolithography machines and opted to provide after-sales service to Chinese customers. This active engagement in China's semiconductor industry development highlights the intricate decisions ASML faces in light of China's technological strides. However, ASML's shift in approach to the Chinese market doesn't guarantee a smooth ride. The repercussions of the U.S.-China trade tensions and the looming specter of technological protectionism continue to pose challenges and pressure on ASML in the Chinese market. Shifts in the political and economic landscape may introduce uncertainties into ASML's business and growth, necessitating collaborative efforts with Chinese customers and partners to navigate these uncharted waters. It's worth noting that ASML has secured approval from the Dutch government to sell 2,000 photolithography machines to China, undeniably a positive development for ASML. Nevertheless, the development also signals a more intense competitive landscape on the horizon, as China's breakthroughs in photolithography machine technology are poised to reshape the global photolithography machine market. China's remarkable progress, especially in the realm of photolithography machines, has been nothing short of extraordinary, swiftly closing the gap with the Western chip equipment industry in a remarkably short period. China's groundbreaking advancements in photolithography machine technology have further solidified its position as a formidable player in the global photolithography machine sector. European and American chip equipment industries may now be reflecting on missed opportunities for collaboration with China as it emerges as a major contender. In the meantime, Huawei remains undaunted in its pursuit of overcoming chip restrictions, recently introducing the flagship Huawei Mate 60 Pro smartphone equipped with domestically developed chips. This milestone effectively addresses chip supply challenges and brings promising things. 
Huawei's triumph serves as a testament to the immense potential and resilience of China's chip industry. China's leaps in photolithography machine technology and its expansion in chip capacity have etched a lasting imprint on the global chip market. The amalgamation of increased chip capacity and decreased chip procurement is reshaping the landscape of the global chip market. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we eagerly anticipate our next encounter.